Austin Olenbeck process is one of the stochastic processes that are most educational. You can learn a lot by studying it in depth. Here, uh, we are looking at its HDE form to solve it. And while doing so, we will go over one of the important techniques in stochastic calculus, the so-called Ito isometry used in Ito integral. We first start with the well-known geometric running motion HDE that people use to describe stock prices. We know this uh, HT itself in both terms. Therefore, we can move it to the left, and this gives the geometric characteristics to this HDE. We now look at the austin Ullenbeck HDE. We will use XTE to avoid confusion and for consistency with convention. Note first, there's a negative sign uh, for the XTDT term, which makes this a mean reverting process. In the second term, there's no xt, so we cannot move xt to the left totally to form dxt over xt. So we can, cannot solve it in a, in a similar way as geometric Brownian motion xt. To follow the convention, we will also add a drift term mu here. We want to know this is exactly the Vasisek interest rate model. To start in SDE, usually people will first calculate the standard statistics such as expected value, covariance, and variance. We can also try to solve the SDE altogether. For austin Ullenbeck process, it needs some crucial tools including Ito isometry and a variation of parameters, which I'll try to elaborate in an intuitive way. It's not obvious how we can solve um, this process, like the geometric Brownian motion. What we can do is to construct another function f x t, whose derivative will depend only on t and w, and also solvable, meaning integratable. To elaborate, if we can differentiate f x t into two terms with only t and w, and both are integratable, at the end we can simply invert f x t with respect to x and we will have solved the original SDE. The simplest transformation is just to multiply x by a function gt that depends only on t. Differentiate it into dx and uh, dt, and plug in dx with the original X SDE we want to solve. We notice x shows up in these two terms. So if we group these two terms together and make them offset each other, we will be left with dependency only on t and w. Setting this to zero, removing x, sorry, I forgot dgt here. Now we can solve this non-stochastic SDE of gt pretty easily. And the solution is gt equals e to the theta t. Now write down fxt and dfxt again. Plug in gt, we just solved. We can now integrate both sides. The left and the first term on the right-hand side are simple to solve, while the second term on the right-hand side looks a little bit more challenging. Note I changed t to s inside the integral to avoid confusion. This term is an e to integral with respect to the stochastic variable dwt. We will use Ito isometry to provide an answer. Ito isometry allows the computation of variances for random variables that are given as Ito integrals. It's actually more general than what we are showing here, but intuitively it's the same principle. So here we are only interested in a deterministic integrand. So we'll stick to it as an example. First, if gs is 1, we get the integral of dws from 0 to t, which is just wt. And it follows a normal distribution with mean 0 and a variance t. So intuitively, if the integral of gs dws, denoted as gt here, capital G, similarly, it should also follow a normal distribution with mean 0 
and some variance. To calculate its variance, we know the expected value of dWt dWs h d rack delta d t minus s ds. What it means is only when t equals s is ds, otherwise it's zero. So we can write the variance as the expected value of gs squared ds, which really is very easy to solve. And, and this property, being able to turn dWt dWs to ds, is called ito isometry. Now with that, the second term in austin ullenbeck HDE follows the normal distribution with mean zero and a variance given by the expected value of this integral. And the integral in the variance is very easy to solve, which is just 1 over 2 theta times e to the 2 theta t minus 1. And consequently, we arrive at the solution of xt. Here, we can rewrite the second term following convention, where w with subscript e uh, to the 2 theta t minus 1 follows normal distribution with variance e to the 2 theta t minus 1. Now with the solution, we can calculate the mean and the variance of xt easily. I'll leave that for exercise to you. Okay, hopefully this is as interesting to you as it is to me. Um, and thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.